You know, I'll uh, I'll be honest today, everyone. I had I had plans for the stream today, and then things decided not to function <laughs> like they normally do, and thus we're here. Um, I'm gonna be playing some Animal Crossing today. I think that's the plan anyway. That should be fine. That should work. Just any time it comes to a PC game, it decides to die or uh, just be unstable. Too unstable for me to commit to it, uh, especially for the series game. I was planning to play uh, Sam and Max Save the World on stream today and start that as a bit of a series game. We can kind of come back to that. Um, I enjoy Sam and Max. I've never played that game before, and they had the remaster of it, so I figured I'd play it. It it barely works. We could probably get by with it, but I don't want to try to struggle with it. So, eh, nah. <laughs> so I'm like, well, we'll figure out another game to play on. I have other games that I want to do, just nothing that I can do right at the moment because I have to install stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, but I haven't played Animal Crossing in a little bit. Um. So I thought, you know what, let's play some of it. Um, there's some things I want to do. I've kind of had this like backlog of wanting to like kind of redesign a few areas of the island. Just like minorly, just kind of touch up. There's some stuff we can do. We can just kind of chill, have a, a casual stream, you know, and, and do a few things. So why not? You know, why not? Um, yeah, that's the plan. In general stuff. <laughs> so uh the shiller steve uh very generously gave me a uh nft a cool cat nft which is actually going up in value quite a bit um pretty quickly which is really cool um <laughs> and uh he posted a tweet that had I don't know what it is exactly. It's it's basically just like a you know interaction sort of thing between users on Twitter, and I think it's like your top fifty. It might be less than that. Um, and I've been on it for a little bit. Then he posted a new one. Well, I wasn't on it, so I, I went on Discord because <laughs> he posted it on Discord, and I'm like, he's like, oh, you know, are you on there or have you moved or blah blah blah? And I'm like, I'm not even on it anymore. I just got kicked off. And he told me to tweet more, so I just said, hello, I own three NFTs, which is a true statement. I just did it, because why not? And uh, now everybody's responding to it, like crazy, like wildfire. And everybody's trying to advertise their NFTs to me, um, which is no problem. I mean, you know, do what you do. You know, freedom of speech, that kind of thing, do, you know, whatever doesn't bother me go for it um you're probably uh advertising to the wrong person i just said it kind of almost jokingly but at the same time you know hey a bunch of people have been following me and liking that tweet all day <laughs> since it's been posted so hey i'll take it um yeah uh apologies for I i've kind of tweeted this on twitter as well um, I haven't streamed in the past week, um, had my COVID shot on Saturday, and, uh, last Saturday, and I just kind of felt terrible afterwards for a little bit, or not, not, not terrible, terrible, just not, like, really into it, and then I've kind of had this, like, cough, and it's still kind of there, but it's, it's, slowly going away and apparently that's not a, any like sort of side effect of a covid vaccine but uh i've had it maybe it's just something else that happens to crop up at the same time i don't know either way i've had this cough it's been annoying me for a little bit um it's made it hard to stream but i think today we're good enough we can go with it should be fine should be fine um yeah so uh that's that. Uh, we're streaming now, doing some stuff. I'm working on a main channel video as well at the moment, so there's that. I've, I've spent a little bit of time on that, not as much as I wanted to. I've been, I'm always, I'm, I'm thrown around everywhere, you know. I gotta do a little bit here, a little bit there. 
it's hard to work on the, the main channel stuff nowadays just because I go back and forth between things so much. Um, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Things happen. Um, another thing, too, I saw the trailer for Death Stranding, the director's cut. Um, and I have Death Stranding on PC. I also played it originally on PS4 when it was out on PS4. But I have it on PC. We played a little bit of it on stream. And, uh, you know, it, it was entertaining enough, but because I hadn't, because I had played it already a little bit, and because, you know, I hadn't really been fully committed to this uh, stream, and that was a little while ago now where I, when I was actually trying to play this, um, I wasn't affiliated, I wasn't anything like that. Um, for the, you know, for some of you that do come out to the streams now, I appreciate it. Uh, but at that time, there's literally nobody ever, so it didn't really add any value. I think it'd be more fun to play it, you know, just kind of chilling with you guys, talking about some other stuff and playing the game. Kind of, not in the background, but, you know, we're just kind of chatting about stuff. And then when something exciting happens, then, uh, you know, we go back to the game. We have a nice all just casual time. It's a very um, relaxing game most of the time if you just kind of take it, you know, I don't want to say seriously, but, you know, you just kind of play it smart, pay attention to stuff. You can kind of breeze through some of the parts of the game um, if you know what you're doing. And considering that I already played it before, I kind of knew pretty easily what to do um, and where to go and how to avoid things. Um, you know, so there's that. Uh, I would love to play it on stream again. Um, and I'm like, oh, the director's cut. That's awesome. Um, it was announced as like a PS5 upgrade. And that's all it's been announced as. So I don't know if that's going to be on PC. I hope stuff from that's going to be on PC. Um, there's like new story missions, which is really, really big. That's kind of the best part of it. Um, there's like a racing mode, which is weird. Um, there's like a firing range. The, the melee combat was upgraded um, and updated and everything. Um, there was like a new weapon added, like a taser gun. That's weird. Um, yeah, it just, it looks cool. It looks cool. Um, so I definitely like to play that. There's like a catapult for cargo and stuff, which is weird. There's ramps and stuff now, so you can use that to ramp over things. Weird, dude. There's a lot of weird stuff. Um, and it's like, yeah, that seems fun. That's kind of, you know, rejuvenating stuff. And there's the cyberpunk stuff, which I've never really played around with. Um, I wasn't playing it when they added that. Uh, there's the Half-Life stuff, which I only did part of on stream. Um, so, you know, that's a good chunk of added content. I think that would be fun to stream. I just don't know if it's going to be out on PC anytime soon. The game comes out on September 24th for the Director's Cut. Um, I'd love to stream it, love to play it, um, since we already kind of streamed it and played it in the past. Um, I'd love to do that again. Um, with the new newly added content. I think that would be cool, but I uh, don't know when that's going to be, so I can't guarantee that that's going to happen unless they say it's coming to PC. Because um, I do have a PS5 in my house, but I'm not going like, to... I don't stream from it, and, you know, not my PS5 specifically, so I'm not going to do that. So, you know, not going to bother with that. <laughs> if it comes to PC, we do it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, that's kind of the way it works. Um... But yeah, so that was something that was interesting. Um, apparently also, Cyberpunk is supposed to be getting like a bunch of massive updates. Apparently it's supposed to be getting like an enhanced edition. That would be interesting to play too. I played through it, all the way through it. Um, I think at like the 1.02 <laughs> or whatever it was supposed to be. Like, you know, only a couple patches in. There's still like a bunch of, you know... They hadn't released like the first major patch yet and had already finished the whole game, so you know, maybe that'll be something to play too if they uh, update it. Or maybe you'll just mod the crap out of it and see what happens there. <laughs> I don't know. I've been watching a lot of cyberpunk content recently. That'd be fun to do too. I don't know how well it would work on stream though. I've recorded a few clips in OBS of cyberpunk when I was playing it and it wasn't that bad, so fine. I don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. Um, but yeah. Anyway, let's move on to Animal Crossing. Again, it's been a little bit since I played, so 
I don't know how, uh, I don't know how, you know, good this is going to be. I don't know how much cleanup I'm going to have to do of weeds, because it's probably going to be a lot. Probably a lot, anyway. I would imagine. Stuff over, there we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, cool. My system wants to update. Here we go, here's, uh, Jacques. I haven't changed any of my villagers out in a while, and if you've been on like you know, something like Carly stream, he's CG six, CG. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, if you've watched Carly stream or something like that, um, Carly Ann then uh you know that sometimes she does villager hunting and stuff like that i don't have any villagers that are moving away though i've had the same villagers forever now i should probably probably update one of them i just haven't wanted to the summer fishing tourney runs until 6 p.m oh we got a fishing tourney well that's something today is also toby's birthday oh great i don't have anything for him <laughs> oops uh didn't know it was his birthday hey there's a lot of stuff going on though today so how about that for being a uh, bit of a out of nowhere Animal Crossing stream, because you know stuff. Oh my god! I saw your name. I don't know where to start with. <laughs> I just saw Dingaroo, so I'm gonna say that that's all right with you. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I love you all. Let's join the cult. Oh, why, thank you. Both for the follow and that statement. Alright. Um, I have to actually go into my house first, because for some reason Animal Crossing, when it initially loads, is laggy. And then, if you go into a house and come back out, it's fine. It's something I've noticed. I don't know why it's like that. But it'd be like that. I got the pirate beard, by the way. The last time I played, I got the pirate beard, and I've talked about it multiple times, as you can see. I put it on my king character. Not my normal outfit. I had a swap. I still don't have a slingshot. It's been like months since I've had a slingshot <laughs> in my inventory. My inventory is also full. And it's been like this for a while, because I've just been so, like, not wanting to play this game. Like, what is this? I don't even know what the, what is this? Hold up, what is, what is this item? I don't know what half of these are. I think some of them are like limited time things, yeah. That's what that is. Which I also still don't know what that is exactly, but it's food of some sort. And that's all that matters. See if there's any uh, limited time uh, seasonal items, because that's the, like the only thing that's in this game anymore. Ooh! Dude, these are new. Probably missed one thing, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's buy that. And this, I guess. That's cool, I like the little, uh, the wheel. The pirate ship. Deer and wheel. I have items in here, too, apparently. Bank of Nook. Cool, I got money. My house is awesome, like they always like to tell me. And there's some gift. Let's see what the gift from my mom is. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna hope that it's something good. Mom's plushie. I think I have this already. This little dog. Yeah. I'll take another one. I have no problem with that. Fine by me. Alright, so we actually have a fishing tourney here. We do. I guess that'll be something to do today. I do want to get points for the fishing tourney. I just don't have stuff prepared because I didn't know. Um, I hate the fishing tourney, by the way, so that'll be something fun. I haven't really committed to the fishing tourney. I've committed to the, um... I've committed to the, uh, like, the bug catching tourney, but I haven't... The bug off. Is it called the bug off? I think it's called the bug off, right? I have the trophy for that. I've had it for the longest time. Fishing tourney? No. I hate it. You have red, red wrapping paper, perfect. 
Let me buy more of that if I want to craft. There's like one crafting recipe for Christmas that uses that. I think I might have already stored. What is this? That's a light. Okay. <laughs> Guys, look. It's me. Anyway. All right. So. I think the plan for today, outside of the fishing tourney, because I didn't know that there's a fishing tourney, so I guess we can do some of that, um, is also, um, I'm just kind of doing the daily things, you know, check the shops, check who's here, that doesn't really apply today because there's the fishing tourney. Um, oh yeah, it's Toby's birthday, I guess we should go grab something from my, uh, storage and see if there's anything I can give him. I'm just checking the general things, you know, clothing, anything like that. But I think uh, we might re redecorate some part of the island, but I have to figure out what part it'll be. Because I don't really know. <laughs> there, there's multiple parts I know. They have other colors of this. It's like the grossest color of this. Have you ever seen that? There's like a SpongeBob episode where they make like the Krabby Patties out of like sludge. What did I say? Sludge. Um... Because they, like, sell it to some mega corporation and they just make it out of trash. That's what that looks like. That looks like, uh, something. So. Yep, nothing in here that I want for clothes. As per usual. I usually never want anything <laughs> from the clothes in here, but... It's one of those things you gotta check. Hey, look, it's my, my custom outfits. Those are much better. Got a little Mario shirt. I tried to make this shirt in Animal Crossing, but it didn't really work out. Unfortunately. I mean, that's... Okay, so... Daily stuff, uh, we pretty much did it. I don't need to check for bottles or anything, because... I have all the DIYs. There's no point anymore. Um... I do want to check for weeds, though, so maybe we'll do that. Um, oh, actually, we need to give something to uh, Toby. That's something, too. Let's just give Toby, like, a huge bundle of weeds. That, that would probably... Uh, I, I know it wouldn't let you do that, but I would love to see it. Alright. Well, there were some weeds. These have bloomed, which look very nice. Oh yeah, look at these weeds, bro. Looking good. My flowers are out of control as well. Oops, that's a fence. This is a this is a welcome back to Animal Crossing. Remember that you pick up literally everything you don't want to pick up. If you haven't watched the video, I have a video talking about Animal Crossing from the first year and on and I have my my complaints as well as my, my my pros and cons I go through everything I go through it chronologically and like the mood that I was in or try to at least you know describe the mood I was in at the time let's put some stuff away let's put this away there's a few things we can actually put away Stuff like the, the limited items and stuff, the weeds, all that stuff. But there's a bunch of crap in my inventory, too. I have some wedding items and all that. Hmm, I think that's everything. I can store that, I guess. You don't get a lot of those on the... Is that everything? These I bought. All right, the rest of these are garbage, other than the lilies of the valley, which I still don't know where to put, so that's why I have them. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go again. I need to buy a slingshot, and I'm going to get a uh, fishing rod, and I'm also going to dig up some manila clams. I don't think I have any fish bait. I should have looked in, in my house inventory if I had any fish bait. Um... But I should buy another... I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm going to buy fishing rod and the slingshot. And then... Uh, 
We should be good for the fishing tourney. And I think we'll do some of that. Well, we'll get some manila clams, as I said, but... So that'll take a little bit. Again, if I knew in advance, I mean, obviously the game tells you, but I, I was I was not planning to do a fishing journey today. But if I was aware of it, and I was planning to do it, I would have prepped beforehand. No, 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 no. Don't sell that. Uh, these can go. Yeah, that's fine. Oops, I didn't know I had that. All that. Cool. I need a little bit of money for the fishing rod and the slingshot. You know, one thing I don't get about this, by the way, is why you would ever buy this slingshot over that one. Like, it makes sense with everything else because it's like, oh, with the fishing rod, you either have the $400, the 400 bell flimsy fishing rod that's not going to last you very long. Or you have the 25,000 outdoorsy fishing rod, which will give you, you know, the normal standard amount of uses for a fishing rod. But then, like, the slingshot is just the slingshot, and then the $25,000 one is just a fancy-looking slingshot. <laughs> it's not a flimsy slingshot, it works fine. Did I buy the slingshot? No. I was talking about buying a slingshot, and I didn't even buy it. Come on. There we go. And now we're good. Let's, uh, we're, we're prepared. We're good to go. Now we can do pretty much everything other than the manila clam stuff, which I still need to do. Uh, I need to find somewhere to put these lilies of the valley. I mean, I don't really. Let's just move these for now, actually. Why do I have pants in my... <laughs> Why do I have pants? I don't even see that. It hid from me. Alright, let's uh, start the inventory real quick. I'm gonna put, like, a few things away again. I'm also going to look to see if I have any manila clam, manila clams specifically in my inventory, and then also see if I have, like, just straight up fish bait. I don't imagine I do, but if I do, that's cool. Again, don't think I do. Yeah, I didn't see any fish bait in any of that. I have a bunch of stuff, but fish bait is not one of them. I had shells, though. Okay, these are manila clams. How many of these are? Wow. Good chunk, actually. For having them just stored there. <laughs> they don't even stack, so that was kind of a bad way to store them. There's a dog barking outside my house. I can't tell. I have headphones on, but it just... It's either in the game, which I don't think is the case. <laughs> or there's just an actual dog outside. I put this... There. I can put the slingshot here. Uh, and remove this from favorites. And put this in favorites. It's so annoying how long it takes to, like, have to set everything up like we're still here. Alright, let's craft these few manila clams that we have into fish bait, which will take a, a little bit of time. Like, it already takes a while to get manila clams, but then you have to, like, craft it one at a time. What a pain. What a pain. By the way, you guys, just a reminder, uh, tomorrow we're doing Prime Games. 
And if you haven't been there for one of those kinds of things, uh, Prime Games is kind of the thing where uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Twitch account, you'll get Twitch Prime, or Prime Gaming as it's called now, uh, which gives you a Prime sense that you can use and get one month for free on any streamer that, you know, is affiliated or partnered, has the subscription available. So you get a month for free, you don't have to pay anything. It doesn't reoccur though, so if you want to stay subscribed, you have to resubscribe again. Um, but on top of that, they give you uh, free games every month, about five of them. And uh, I've had it for quite a long time now. Um, they did update their app and they got rid of some games. Um, when they updated from their Twitch app to their Amazon Games app. Um, but I still have nearly 300 plus games um, in that library that I haven't paid anything for. It's just part of the library. Um, so we play uh, three of those games. We just pick them at random. I, I put them in a random number generator the night before, figure out the three games, and play them on stream to see if they're good or not. And uh, yeah. That's basically that. Um, so if you have a Twitch Prime game library, it might be useful for you. Uh, if you haven't played any of the games and you want to see what might be good or get a little preview of them. Um, if you don't have a Twitch Prime game library, you might just figure out a, a game that you've never heard of before. That uh, might be fun. It was a good time. We just kind of pretty chill, pretty tame. Just a casual old time. Well, we got our bottle. I wasn't planning for it, but come on. <laughs> Are you kidding? Just dig the hole that I asked. <laughs> you guys ever seen the uh, Gus Johnson video on digging a hole in Animal Crossing? So relatable. All right, guys, we're going to dig a hole right here. Alright, so, yeah, we're just gonna get manila clamps for a little bit. That's the plan. I don't know how many we're gonna get. I don't know how many, like, fish you can get. Did that literally go to the other side? It did. Yeah, I don't know how many uh, fish you get in a fishing tourney. That's how, like, little I play it. I think it's only, like, three or four. <laughs> it's really hard to get a lot of fish, even with manila clams. I don't even know if vanilla clams are usable. I don't even know if you can use them. But I'm just going to get a handful and see what happens. And if you can use them, you can. It doesn't really matter how many fish, you know, or like what type of fish you get. It's just dependent on like how many fish you get. Oh yeah, it's Toby's birthday today. I keep forgetting that. We gotta go over to Toby's house. All right, I'm just going to go up the, the other two beaches here, get the rest of the manila clams, and then I'm going to go and um, probably just see what's in our inventory to give to Toby. Uh, Toby's the bunny rabbit from the Sanrio villagers. Uh, he lives right up there, right up this path. Um, not this path, but the other direction to where we were going. We'll be by his house in a minute, I'll, I'll show you. I don't see any manila clams here, geez. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yeah. I really like Toby's house, it's really uh, casual, really nice. Again, I'm not sure if we can use manila clams in the the tourney anyway. Ooh, we got weeds here. I never had this problem, but I got rid of paths. I, I redesigned some of this area with some of the new uh, wedding stuff, like the bell and the, the ring pillow. But, uh, in the process, I got rid of the paths and I haven't put anything down yet. <laughs> I'm still not fully happy with it, but eh. There's been a few little redesigns. That's like one area that I still don't like. <laughs> I mean, here's Toby's house. He's got like some bamboo 
I put a little confetti thing back there that's green, so it looks like leaves are coming out of the, the tree. A little bonsai table. A little cool stuff. He's just kind of chilling here. I don't want to go in his house yet. I don't have a gift for him. I gotta go back to my house real quick. Oh, here's Rosie. Oh, you're fishing up here. That's probably a mistake. There's like never fish there. Or weeds. Weeds are always here because I have weeds that are trapped behind some of these trees that I can't get to, so they always just grow super fast here. So far, this is the weed cleaning stream. I'm sorry, I haven't played in forever. There's so many weeds. They're everywhere. Probably a bunch up here, too. Yep. My Mario area. I have some lilies up here. I added, like, some stuff to jump. I think I probably showed this on stream once before. If I haven't, then uh, here it is. A little level. Uh, I always meant to put Mario, like, standees here when they added those, and I just haven't gotten around to that. <laughs> someday, someday we'll do that. Alright. Making our way back to our house. Let's see what we can get for Toby. I have so many things in my house inventory that I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know everything we have. I think we could find something, though. What do we have? Okay, piano bench. I'm vibing with that already. I think he might like that. That is currently my thought. Plant? Not terrible, not terrible. Not giving him that. I don't know. <laughs> or my robot hero. Not happening. Yeah, I'm still thinking that uh, piano bench is perfect for Toby. <laughs> or a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Got a lot of carnations, I forgot about that. Find somewhere to put those. I have a bunch of these too. I want extras of stuff that I like, even if I'm not going to use it have a lot of these don't worry about it I didn't really get any of the museum day stuff from this year because I couldn't be bothered uh, okay this is just wallpaper I'm gonna give him the uh, piano bench I've had that in my inventory for so long and I think it's perfect for Toby there we go oh, what's our DIY by the way might as well figure out uh, Cabin wall, not bad, not bad. Um, not what I want, but I mean, I don't want any DIYs because I don't need them, but. All right, over to Toby's house. Have any fancy outfit? You gotta be fancy when you go to a birthday party, you know? You gotta, you gotta wear something cool. Um, not the king one. Prom wedding? That might be okay. Eh. I'm gonna wear the star suit. Because that's just cool. Let's go to Toby's house. Let's give him his piano bench. I try to think of things that if it's gonna be furniture, it's not gonna look like total, complete trash in their house. I think this'll look okay. His house looks so different <laughs> when it's filled with birthday stuff because he normally has like a bunch of walls and like weird furniture in here. But that's okay. Hello, Toby. Another year. Excuse me. Another year, another chapter in the rich life uh, story of the one that they call Toby. One event that will stand out as I look back will be Chuck giving me a gift just now. Anything you want to share with me, Risk Red? I got you a gift, dude. I didn't wrap it. I probably should have wrapped it. It's fine. Here you go. 
A piano bench. Ah, oh, how you know exactly what I wanted. Well, let me just say merci beaucoup one last time for such a thoughtful gift. You're welcome. Hello, Jot. Ah, I see you made the guest list for the big Toby birthday bash as well. Not the most exclusive event on Melancholy, but that's cool. We're all here to celebrate. Cool. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Okay. <laughs> oh, before you go, I just wanted to say thanks again for stopping by. And thanks for this nasty gift, too. You really know how to make a rabbit feel special. Uh, Toby is my second rabbit on the island. I had a uh, Mira before, which was also a yellow rabbit. So, yeah. Toby's a little bit cooler just because uh, I like his aesthetic. Alright, let's uh, switch our outfit again back to normal. And uh, we will do the fishing tourney. Actually, I should probably craft the... Uh, what's on here? Oh. Birthday and fishing tourney news. <laughs> well, I'm aware of that already. It's fine. That's not a problem. I'm aware of those things. But let's uh, craft this. Craft some fish bait. I realize I'm going to have to finish, figure out what game we're going to be playing on the uh, stream for the series by Tuesday. That's when our series game is. I you hate it when you have plans and then plans decide to just not happen. That's the worst. It's fine though. I guess I'll just play Sam and Max on my own time. Which is fine. I played the, the Devil's Playhouse um, on my own years ago. Uh, when it was current, and I enjoyed it a lot, um, but the only problem with that was the fact that uh, it was on PS3, I eventually stopped playing it, and then our PS3 wasn't current anymore, and I wanted to go back to it, and then I'm like, I gotta get the PS3 and play that, um, and I still didn't finish it. <laughs> I got a lot further, but I still never finished it. And now they're supposed to be remastering The Devil's Playhouse, which I'll definitely want to play when it comes out. But I need to play the other ones too, because I never played those, and there were so many like characters that's like, oh wow, it's been so long since I've seen you. Like, I don't know who this is. <laughs> I don't know who this character is, because I don't I didn't play the like earlier Sam and Max games. I have no idea. But I don't know. Anyway, we have 15 in the fish bait. I think we'll try that for now. Let's uh, see. Let's do it. Yeah, what's up, C-Sports fan? I'm CJ. Coming at you live. Hang on. Of course I'm live. I'm right here. Anyway, I'm anchoring the premiere event of the summer C-Sports season, the fishing tourney. So shine those hooks and get your reels ready, because between now and 6 p.m. the tourney is on. All right, so. Uh, okay. The rules of the fishing tourney are easy bree breezy, you just gotta catch as many fish as you can in three minutes. Every fish you catch nets you points, net enough points, and you can swap them for some slick fish swag. I think I did this one once. <laughs> also, there's a cooler in the tent. Any fish you catch will automatically get stowed there. Keep the pockets dry. That means as long as you've got a fishing rod, you have all you need to compete. Cool, right? And you can enter as many times as you like. an entry fee. I forgot about that. I want to spray three minutes on the clock for you to catch as many fish as you can. Oh, and there's also a bonus that'll backstroke if you catch at least three fish. Why did that not work? Come on. There we go. Yes, yeah, so this is all you're gonna really do. Oh, it's a sea bass, weird. 
kind of hard to get in position to scatter food. <laughs> See it? There we go. It take forever to nibble down on, on the thing sometimes. And that's the one thing that I was always annoyed about in the fishing tourney. Was because sometimes you just like... You know, scatter food or something like that. And wait for a fish to show up. And then like a fish would show up. And then it would take like five tries before it would nibble on your thing. And like you have no control of that and that wastes your time. It's not hard to get three fish, but it's just, it's hard to get like a huge amount of fish. Because you can't control how many fish and like where they look. See, like that, that's BS. There you go. We recovered, but now he's gonna take like five tries. Never mind, he took two. Still, that's out of your control. But we can use bait. This makes it a lot easier. Ah! Why would you do that? Stop. I'm using Joy-Cons, so I'm not used to it. My Pro Controller died, apparently. I found that out right before the stream started. I'm like, well, I guess we're playing uh, Animal Crossing, I guess. And then I go to turn the Pro Controller on, and it's just dead. I'm like, oh, I wasn't aware of that. Come on. Do it. Do it. No, I thought he would do it on three. Why do they take so long? Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, where's the fish? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. God damn it. Don't turn away from me. Dickhead. Come on. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. Look at the thing. You dick. Look at it! Look at it! No, nibble. Nibble! God damn it. It doesn't count, because the timer's over. That's why I hate the fishing tour. Because, like, I gotta get him. He's got a nibble on it. And it takes, like, five years to do. I only got five, even though I got six. But it doesn't count. They should. If you have a fish nibble on it before the time's over, it should count that last one, but it doesn't. I don't think it does. Okay, what did I catch? Five fish, yeah, see? BS. <laughs> That's stupid. That's seven points. And that was one thing. We gotta get like 300 points to get the gold trophy. I hate the fishing tourney. <laughs> it's so stupid. Bugs are so easy. You can catch like 16 bugs in one round. It's so easy to catch bugs. And then you gotta get manila clams. This is the worst tourney. It's just, it's so tedious. But I need the points, so let's uh... I'll do it like once more. And then we'll, we'll redecorate. I can't, like, do that for, like, ever. Like, at least the bug off I can force myself through, even if it is the same thing over and over again, because at least I'm like, oh, I'm getting the points fairly quickly. I'm catching a good chunk of bugs. No problem. Fishing tourney is trash. It was right here. Nice, I remember... I would like to get that gold trophy at some point for the fishing tourney, because then once I do that, I have no reason to do it again. It's like one of the looming things on the horizon of like, I haven't done it. I still don't have that trophy. I gotta get it at some point. Same thing as like the art for the museum. I still don't have all of it and I'm not even close. Because red never shows up. And they updated him at one point, too, to be like, oh, he shows up more. You sure about that? I don't know about that. 
I haven't seen the proof of that. I did for like the first week when I knew that update came out. I was like, wow, he showed up like twice already. And now I don't see it. But either I've gotten used to that and I feel like that's slow or it, they were like, oh no, he shows up for like the first week a little bit more and that's it. It was, it was a temporary change. How the heck am I going to dig that? There's a thing in the way. Never mind. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine. No, 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 patch the hole. Thank you. Alright. Get a few more of these, we'll craft them. Do the thing again. And we'll see what we do. I did not reel in like too early like I did the last time. I have a really high ten tendency of doing that. Because um, I know there's like a thing in this game too that's like, oh, catch like a hundred fish in a row without screwing up. I will never get that. I, it, it, I don't have it and I won't have it. Why do I know that? Because I'm really good at just screwing it up. I'm, I'm like slightly impatient. I'm not like impatient. I just feel like I have like the best luck in the world or I'm like It's definitely gonna be on the third one I'll just tap immediately on the third one and I'll get the fish because it's gonna be on the third one guarantee you And then it's not because my luck is terrible Dude I was playing like I was playing uh, the Wheel of Fortune game Because we just happened to have that on our PlayStation I've just been playing it a little bit here and there, just for fun, you know, why not, right? And I was like, okay, let's let's play that. Let's uh, let's just chill and play that game. I, I suck at Wheel of Fortune, I need to get better at it. Because I, I watch, like, Game Grumps play uh, Wheel of Fortune, which is the same game. Um, and I'm like, dude, I enjoy watching it, especially when it's like, uh, you know, filling it with some sort of stupid answer that's clearly not right, but it's really funny. I think their last one was like oven roasted scrotum. Which I think the answer was oven roasted sprouts. But anyway, but, you know, funny stuff like that happens and it's, you know, that's fun. But like when it comes to actual answers, they get it so fast with like so many blanks and I'm like, I need like two letters out of the whole thing missing and that's when I'll finally get it. And I have proof of that because there was one, I was doing like a, a category, it was same letter. So it's three words, they were all starting with the same one. Um, the last two words I got pretty quickly actually, I surprised myself, it was spaceships and scooters. But the first word was literally S-N-O blank M-O blank I-L-E-S. And I couldn't figure out what the word was. It was snowmobiles. If you didn't get it, that's what it was. But like, I still, I couldn't even figure it out. Even with almost all the letters there. I was like, snob, snobjolies. Snobjolies? I didn't know what it was. Oh, I'm out of manila clams. Okay, cool. Uh, how many do we have now? Ooh, we have 17. Nice. Do we have one red snap? Oh, right, yeah. We have the red snapper because... <laughs> we... caught it before it counted. I just sell them. Yeah. I literally would like... <laughs> Have him take all the fish. Alright, let's uh, do this again. I want to compete! Very cool. Alright, cool. It's 500 bells each time to get into the fishing tourney. That's annoying. Oh well. Need to pull out the fishing rod. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. I should probably uh, remember to do that next time. Yeah, I the food. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Does it every time. Stop looking a weird way. 
Look at my fishing rod. Look at it. There we go. There we go. Tea bag. <laughs> it's so easy to know nowadays. It's gonna be a sea bass. I know it. Go. God damn it. Why do they all look the wrong way? Every time. Stop, bro. Look the right way. Come on. Alright, there we go. We got it. Two minutes in, we only got two. God damn it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I swear to God. Okay, you got it that time. Don't tap too early. It's not going to be on three. It is on three. Anytime I try to doubt myself, I'm like, it's not going to be on three. Then it is on three. Gather the food. It was a quick execution. Don't look away. Don't look away. Boom. That was expertly done. Boom. That was a quick fish. That was a real quick fish. Sea bass. Hello, dude. We're doing good this time. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I don't want to speak too soon, though. Ooh, it's a shark. Oh, that's a bad placement. That's a bad placement. Nice. Ooh, fast shark, fast shark. Probably, like, not actually a shark. Yeah, suckerfish. We got five. We got a minute. We got five. That's good. That's good. Get it. Nice. I went too early because I'm stupid. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? There's the fish. That's stupid. I hate that that happens too. It'll just glitch out. Okay, we wasted some time there because I screwed it up. Is that an anchovy? It is. Oop. I didn't have any food there. Get it. Ah, I went too early again because I'm stupid. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Ah, oh, that fish is stupid. I screwed it up a couple times, but that's uh, every time. I've never had a fishing tourney where I get a fish like, you know, the last couple seconds. It's always just, it just decides, no, screw you. You're not getting another fish. Yes, I screwed up like five fish. So it's definitely my fault that I didn't get as many, but still at the same time, it's always not satisfying at the end. <laughs> Looks like you showed six fish in the cooler. Cool. That's eight points. Cool. Uh, I don't really want to swap them over for fish swag. Thanks. Sell my fish. You gotta like sell the fish every time. Hey, okay, it's a way to get money though. I mean, you get more money than what you do to enter the fishing tourney. So I mean, uh, let's do one more. We have like nine. There's no way we're catching nine. We'll probably put nine in the water. <laughs> Knowing me? Alright, alright, I got it, I got it. I don't need the instructions. So we're saving a bit of time. Ooh, there's a fish here already. God damn it, no, no, no. No! No! Look this way! <laughs> Stop putting it there! Fish. Yes, okay. Wasted a bit of time. But this fish was generous and went on the first time. All right, cool. Oh, we only have eight. I thought we had nine. Yeah, that's fine. Put it there. Look at it. Yeah. That's got to be an anchovy, right? Oh, a seahorse. Fine. Cool, 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 cool. Takes forever to get the food scattered. When you like, wish there was a dedicated button. Oh, that's a big shark. That's a big shark. The controller's going real crazy. Whoa! It's a pancake. The the sunfish. 
That'll just be good money, so I'm okay with that. Literally, the only reason they give you the option to not sell the fish from the cooler is because you might want to put them in the museum, but I have all of them in the museum, so I, w I just kind of want it automatically to sell. Didn't really want to put the food all the way on this angle, but... Ah, uh, that's a terrible placement. Yeah. Oh, you moved. The dickhead. There we go. Come on. Oh my god, it's like if they're not on three, they're a waste of time. Just get three. <laughs> Come on, dude. I wasted my time. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sea bass. Okay, we got five. We have three more fish bait, though. We're not gonna get three more fish, though, so that's fine. Well, I say that, maybe we will. for fish. Wow, that's been a while since I've seen one of those. Dude, seven. All of flounder. This will probably be the last fish anyway. Sharky. Ah, uh, you went away. There's no way we're catching it now. Come on. Nibble it. Oh, oh. Go, 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 go. Oh, it literally counts when you catch the fish. BS, dude. I hate it. That was literally the last possible second before that fish counted. That's stupid. Literally, it counts when you catch it. You have to ha hold it in your villagers' hands before it counts. So that's only seven, but we caught eight. Seven. It's eight fish. Screw you. Alright. Whatever, dude. Uh, and then just sell those fish. We got two big fish. But the one won't sell because... We didn't catch it. Alright, go. Alright. Well, we got a bit of money there. I'm gonna leave it there. I might come back later to do some fishing tourney. Probably not. But <laughs> it's just, it's such a drag. It just, it sucks so much. Alright. In terms of... Things to redesign. Okay. Redecorating the island time. There's a few areas that I want to do. For one, this area was kind of somewhere I was working on. You can see there's a lot of weeds up there because I never finished it. And I didn't put any flowers or anything there. There's just weeds everywhere. <laughs> um, I have this little ramp area that goes to this like flowery area, which also has weeds in it. Um, and then there's just this weird thing. I never really finished that. This wouldn't really be a redecorating. It'd just be like a finishing it. So, I don't know if that's somewhere we should dedicate our time to. I like this little thing. Um, there's other parts of the island I want to redecorate. I mean, this is... Like, I want to do some standees for this area, but I don't think we should do that either, because that's just going to be, you know, trial and error pixel art for a while. <laughs> so maybe that's not a good thing to dedicate our time to. This is good. I don't know if I have to show this. I finally got the moon. I wanted to put the moon here for the longest time, and now I finally have one there real nice. There's this area, which I don't know what to do with. Um, so maybe that's an area we do. Not really sure. This area I'm fine with. This whole area of Toby's I'm fine with. It's kind of a long thing of trees, but I'm okay with it. No problems there. This area Actually, this might be a good area to redesign, realistically. I kind of hate the beach here. <laughs> I don't hate this area with, like, the bed and stuff here, because it's got, like, you know, good photo detail here. You know, you can sleep under the palm tree. There's a little, like, bath there. There's a little pool table to play some pool. Doesn't do anything, but 
You know, you could sit here on the chair. In theory, there we go. Um, there's a little bench to sit on here too. You can change your clothes right here. There's some music. This area I don't hate. I don't hate this little side. But this side I do. <laughs> I don't like it. But I don't really know what to do there. It's like I want it to be like a path that goes down and around. But I don't know, dude. I mean, here's the thing. There's probably a few things we can do. I don't want to wrap things up. That was the wrong button. I've seen some kind of, you know, stuff to inspire me a little bit. Um, you know, that's like custom path designs that make your paths a little bit more creative. And I think that might be a good thing to do on the beach. Like add like a few like stones and stuff and make that the path. And maybe we could block this off a little bit. And kind of have the path kind of curve this way and then like through the middle of the benches and kind of end up right in front of Goldie's house. And then we can put some stuff over on this side. And then just kind of have a path in front. Or I guess behind because there would be some stuff on the front of the beach now. I'm not really sure. I just, I don't really know. <laughs> you know, it, it's a little confusing. Um, I think ideally, though, like, what we probably should do is just get rid of all this furniture and kind of plot it out. Um, so I think that's the, the goal. I think that's our objective. Get rid of some of this furniture. We might use some of this furniture. There's a lot of furniture here, too, because there's, like, stuff on the tables. And then, you know, the tables themselves, and the benches, and stuff on the benches, and there's a lot actually here. Let me clean this up. We'll figure this out. You see how much space it adds to the island the second you get rid of it? Like, look at this. There's so much here. Look how spacious it is now, it looks good. I kind of like the space better than I do with the furniture <laughs> already. Um, okay, so. The idea would be like adding a path kind of like this way, right? Or, or not really that way, but kind of like, like it's ways down and then across like this and then kind of towards Goldie's house, kind of like this sort of thing, right? I think that would be a cool path kind of snakes through and kind of run right by our house rather than like our, like this way and down and then around. That's always been something that's annoying to me on my own island with that setup. Because anytime you're coming this way, you literally have to run this way. And then I'm like, oh, there's furniture. I got to go down and then cross and then back up rather than just kind of like across like this and then across to the other entrance. So, you know, I would like to be able to, you know, do that. So, how do I do that? I have no idea. <laughs> um, people use like custom paths and stuff. I don't really have too many custom paths. I do have these. But that's not really what I want. I have these like stones, but they're not really tile stones for paths. You guys want to look up some designs online? See if you find anything. Maybe take a little detour. Look for some designs. I'm looking for like some stones, some big ones too. Maybe there'd be something good there. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. We just uh... do that real quick. I gotta swap my monitor over so I can actually see it. One quick second. Okay, 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 so. Let me take a quick look. I'm just going to do it on Microsoft Edge. Animal Crossing Path Design Rocks. That seems like something, right? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do we got? We got a lot of stuff here. What I want... Okay, this here I'm not going to use... Because that's what Carly has. The little circular stones. They look good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby. A triple. That looks good. But it looks good on, on grass, though. I don't know if that would look good on a beach. It looks a little dark. 
So maybe that's something. Okay, I'm going to save that. Um, let's duplicate this tab. Go back. Look for some other things. Um, what else do we get? Uh, but that is kind of ideally what I want. It's kind of like a stone path like that. Maybe space it out a little bit more. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it'll look bad. Um, ooh. Ooh. That looks good. That doesn't look like New Horizons. That looks like... Is that New Horizons? That's not New Horizons. That's either New Leaf. I don't even think that's New Leaf. I think that's the mobile pocket camp. That looks like pocket camp. That's not... I don't think that's New Horizons, dude. I'm not really sure. Maybe it is just New Leaf. I don't think so, though. New Leaf is a little bit lower resolution than that. Um, okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Not into that. That we've seen so far, then. Um. Other than that one we've seen. I really liked this. I've seen this before. Somebody made these, like, little edge paths. So this is, like, a normal path in the game. And then this, like, border here is, like, a custom path that you put around the edge of it. And it gives it that depth. I did that to my wooden path. It's not as good as these. This one's really good. Really well done. Um, same as this, uh, oops, I didn't want to save it. This as well. Um, is one for bricks, which also looks good. I think the same person did them. Is that a wood one? Oh, bro, that looks so good. Dude, I would have used that. It's not really a border, though. It's more like a, an elevation. But still, looks good. Looks good. Um, okay. Oh my god, the images in Bing are tiny. I'm only using it because it's Chrome is really glitchy when... I'm streaming. I don't really know why. Um, okay, so... Yeah. That one's not bad. There's no... There's no uh, ID there, so that doesn't really help us. But it looks cool. See, that's too detailed to me. That's There's too many tiny rocks there. It looks weird to me. I like kind of big designs like this. Like, this is good. This has grass detail in it, so I don't really want that for my beach, but it looks cool. Um, ooh. Those rocks got some crazy design on them, but... Not bad, not bad, not bad. I think we already found it. I think the one that, like, we started with is good. As long as it's not too dark. Ooh, that one's interesting. It's got some weird depth to it. That almost seems like it's for uh, New Leaf one year ago. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. Um, okay. I think that might be it. Can't really find anything else that I, I'm super into. Um, other than that one that we just found. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that, I guess. Um, yeah, everything else here. That is a... Pride Month path right there. Aesthetically, that actually looks really nice. <laughs> uh, if, if you're going for a pastel kind of island, that's a very nice path. I love rainbows, dude. They're so cool. Look so nice. Little stone star path. Yeah, not finding anything outside of the one we just saw right here. I really like the look of this, so I guess we'll go with this one. Um... Gotta shrink this down and put this over here for now. <laughs> so I can see the uh the value. Let me just swap over real quick and I'll put in the value and then we'll uh put the game back on. I'm I'm just putting in the design right now. But I can't swap over to the game. Actually, no, I can. I can. What am I talking about? I can do it. Totally do that. Uh, let's access the portal here. 
and we'll get these designs downloaded, and then we'll uh, try some stuff out. It's a little bit more annoying to place paths that are like custom designs because you have to swap back and forth between them, but... They give you more options, so that's nice. Creator idea. We'll just put it in the creator. You can download them really quick. Where is it? There it is. Uh, what was it? MA4471. 1720 Hey, ooh, they got like some log paths too. That's cool. They got a lot of cool stuff here. The the rock paths. Diagonal stones, interesting. I guess we'll download all the stones that we could find. Yeah, <laughs> they, they have like a chalk line. That's funny. Little mushrooms. Those are cool, but I want these. Oh wait, that's number four. Oh, I see. Let's, let's download them in order. Let's we'll put them here. Get all these downloaded, and then we'll uh, we'll try some stuff. Thank you to. Uh, I have no idea. Itsu. Can't tell if any of those letters are an L or not. <laughs> yes, thank you to uh, you for making these. They look very nice. They look really good, actually. I do like people, too, that uh, put in their custom designs and also show an example of what they look like in the game. Because the pixel art is one thing, but then when the art's put in the game, it gets auto-smoothed like smoothed out. And sometimes the pixel art can look good, but the smoothed out thing can look like trash. <laughs> So, it's good to see an example of that. Diagonal stones. I don't know if we need these, but I'm going to download them anyway. I'm downloading these in reverse order because I don't want to have to go back and forth between pages. Once we get this, I will... Uh, then we'll start working on this. I'm just hoping they're not too dark. That's my only my only thing. I mean, it's fine. Even if they are a bit dark, I'm okay with that. I just hope they're not like so dark that they're really hard to see. They're not hard to see, but like just are so like heavy in contrast between the beach color and the design color. Well, that's the designs. Uh, yes, we're done with that. Cool, cool. Go. Close that real quick. All right, cool. Um, let's uh, let's enter construction mode. That's gonna help us. Start up island designer, and we can make our path. Great, great. Hmm. Look at us, dude. We look awesome. Nice, okay, so, get some designs here going. The way I usually do something like this is I just place... Eh, they're a bit darker than I thought, but they're not actually that bad. I thought they were going to be really dark. That's pretty good, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just going to kind of place the rocks where I feel they they feel right. Oops. 
You know, maybe I should just have him go like around like this. Like that. There. There's a uh, number one. And so I'm just going to kind of, this is how I'm going to place them. I'm just going to kind of place them in the general order of where I think they should be. So that we don't have to swap them. I'm hoping that this, no, 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 <laughs> that's not what I want. Get, this is getting the design that I want, though, I think. Okay, alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. That's kind of getting where I want to. Obviously, I'm going to have to put more rocks in here, but... Just to like change it up, that's kind of how I'm doing it. What do these look like? Do they, these look weird? Well, that kind of gives it like some variety. Okay, we'll, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. And add these kind of diagonal stones. That gives it some like kind of extra interesting stuff to the edge. Try not to put too many of the same ones really close together. Which is proving harder than I thought. <laughs> That's the same one. God damn it. Never mind. I'm really trying to get these to be like not the same everywhere. It's it's hard to get randomness, you know? Yeah, it genuinely is, because like to get actual true randomness, like it's Pretty hard. I'm trying to kind of keep this like three by three sort of design throughout of it. Like, I think that's kind of the general thing we're going for here. But I got a lot of the number two everywhere. I'm gonna put more three down. anywhere. Actually, let's put some more number ones. So get number one anywhere. There we go. We can put number one there. And here. Nice. This is feeling better. As we're going, this is feeling better. I'm confident we'll get this to look alright. We're gonna have to move this beach chair, though. <laughs> I don't like where it is. Uh, I'm gonna go with four again. I think. Put four there. So far, this is all three, other than right here. We need to put one there. I'm not really sure which one. Four there. Two up there. 
Oh, there's a four right beside that. Damn it. <laughs> Put a four there. I'm really trying to like focus and get this to look all right. Uh, since we still have the two out, let's put another two. I'm gonna put another two right here. Just like that. Which means we can actually wipe this one. This is gonna be kind of curving this way into there. I think. Yeah, actually, that is how that's going to work. Let's put three here, then. There's two threes right on top of each other, but it's actually hard to tell, so I'm okay with it. Move. I mean, my pockets are literally full right now. Oh my god, we're, our inventory is perfectly full. That's annoying. Well, let's put this beach, let's put this turtle here. You can just kind of chill. Beach turtle. <laughs> there we go. There's a lot of stones. a bit of a conundrum because we kind of have a stone everywhere. I'm gonna put another four here, I think. This part kind of looks like crap, but the rest of it's alright. Oh, actually, we do need another stone there. Never mind. Uh, a one here. Yep. Kind of curves around and down. I kind of want to move this down by one time. I kind of want to do that. Also, we need one here. Let's put another one. Screw it. That looks fine. All right, I want to move this path down a bit. I kind of want it to, to arc down from here. So I'm going to do that. So there's two twos and two ones. I'm literally just gonna get them to move down. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna have it do that, I think. I want it to kinda have this arc around my beach. That's the plan. Need to put another one here. I want to keep that arc going well. We have to clear this middle line. But that has the path shape I want, outside of adding a few of those extra little corner piece details. I think we got it. Kind of a weird little path. Um, I'm alright with it. No issue with that. I think we have a lot of fours here. And we'll get a two. I don't know what that actual middle line was that we when we shifted, so I'll just do that. There we go, okay. And we add some corner pieces, and then we'll be uh, done on our path. I don't actually know if this is supposed to be like this at all. Wait, no, 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 Come on, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't even know what was there. I think it was a three. Yeah, it had to have been. Hard to get everything in the right spot. 
without accidentally replacing something, making it look like crap. kind of like the bottom corners I feel like that looks kind of cool these give like good variety to these paths actually really easily I think. I think that's on that side but that's okay yeah these make these paths kind of look like they're kind of like a little bit more detailed, like these kind of tiny rocks go into these big rock paths. I like that a lot, actually. Um, okay. I can't put anything there, because... Who are you? <laughs> Basically. I'll put this one here. Yeah, that looks good. This here again. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, that really like adds a lot of separation and stuff. I like that. It's okay. All right. Dude, this will look good here. Yeah, dude. That looks really good, actually. No, 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 no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's when you, like, press A, and then you just have to watch your villager do what you know you don't want to do. Alright, um... Oh, I wanted, uh, this one. Basically, you're just putting these in the corners to add some variety. Even though, apparently, I can't add one there. Even though there's plenty of... You know, ample room for that. Sure. Are you fucking... Stop. <laughs> Come on. Please. Is there not room there for it either? Are you kidding? There totally is. Animal Crossing, why are you- why you be like this sometimes? Really? Are you kidding? Alright, fine then. Don't be cool. Be a douche, Schnauzer. The one that's on, like, this side. Actually, no, I want the... Oh, no, it's kind of the same, though. Stupid. Alright, I'm gonna put this top one up here instead. Then I'm gonna get rid of this one. And put something different here. I'm not sure which one. Probably this one. Are you for real? It really wants to put the different paths where I don't want it to go. So bad. I don't really know. I don't want to put the same one twice. Because then it looks weird. Like, that looks really good there. Then, like, nothing else is going to look good here. Maybe this one will look good. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. A little path. A little massive, but it's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I think there's opportunity to put some of the furniture we had before back where it was. Or like back in, in other spots. Like I think we could put that picnic table here now. Wherever it is. Log dining table. There you go. Yeah, dude. Hear me out here. Move it like this. Yeah, 
Well, I say that. If you have it like that, I don't think we're going to be able to put the bench there again. There won't be enough room. Maybe it won't work. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to work. Yep. I'm going to have to come out one like this. This is going to look bad because then it's going to be on the path. Damn it, I was so close, too. You could just move it like this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that, actually. I think that'll look better. There you go. Like that. Can we move it over one? No. Um, okay, okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Keyword there. Um, we have a, a fireplace. Yeah, like this. There you go. Now that kind of fits there a little bit better. We can put those uh, turkey day decorations on. Give it a little bit of color, I guess, if you will. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I don't know if I'm fully into that, but I do like where this is. Fits nicely in the path. I'm okay with this being open. I think there should be like maybe a sign here or something, or like another like a planter. Something should be right here. But this is fine if it's like, you know, this way. Um something should be here now. Since we have a room. I don't know what. Once again. We don't need to put the stuff that I have here, too, by the way. I can find new stuff. That's totally fine. Probably going to do that. I don't want to really block this off, though, because this is, like, the way to get to this bed. Put something here. Maybe. Or, like, a plant here or something. There could be stuff. Actually, you know what would look good here? Now that I think about it. I got it in the right position. Where is it? Yeah, we got these turkey day garden stands. They look great. Look at that. There you go. We can put either a plant or a light. I have some candles, I think. There we go. Do that, get some candles there, looks kinda cool, looks kinda cool. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm partially into it, I'm partially not, honestly. I thought I was into it, not really, not really. Hmm. Alright, there's some ideas for this. Um, let's go to our, uh, our house and see if there's some things we might be able to grab for designs here. We might be able to shrink the path a little bit, too. Make it fit a bit nicer. It is a little... A little, a little thick. A little thick. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Do we have any tables? We have wedding tables. I think that's a little excessive. But, I mean, it's an idea. It's an idea. A single tiki torch. Eh, not terrible, but kind of strange. Another one of those baths. Uh, menu chalkboard. I'll put that out. That'll look good. That will look good. Um, fan palm might look good. Ooh, actually, I have some pirate stuff. That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. You know? Just put some pirate stuff out there, because I have some of that stuff I just grabbed, but I also have some stuff lying around that is pirate stuff. Do you have anything else that's pirate that I wasn't paying attention? Golden seat, I mean that kind of is, but not really. Take the tiki torch then. Never mind. 
All right, let's put some stuff in here that I don't want. I know I don't want board game. I don't want that coffee cup. Yeah. I'm just going to get the general furniture out for now. And then we'll figure out what we want to put on it. Big bat. He can make a basket. Um, lantern. Might want that. Beach chair I'll keep. Mini cactus set in there. The plant's good. Eh. That away for now. Okay. Um, take the torch and a fire. Maybe the kettle bathtub. Um, and that's all I can really think of right now. Tourist telescope actually is good too. I could use that. Nothing else is really pirate themed in here, I don't think. I have some stuff outside though that is. Alright. Might be good. Cool cool globe. It's a cool globe. Hmm. Seems to be about everything. Okay, let's um grab a few of the pirate things that I know are outside. And use that for that design. Um, because while I don't hate where I have the pirate stuff now, it's just kind of like I threw it there because that was somewhere I could put it, you know? If we have an area that has some pirate-themed stuff in the general area, that's cool. And then that gives me something to work towards, because all the pirate stuff is from, uh, Gullivar. Hey, oh, hey, Nate, how's it going? We're just kind of, uh, redesigning some parts of our island here. Some redecoration, because I have some stuff that I want to change on my island. I was actually planning to get a, like, I was hoping that when the Nintendo Switch Pro was announced, or, you know, a new Switch of some sort was announced, I'm like, I'm gonna buy that. And then we'll get another uh, island going. Pockets are full again. <laughs> of course it is. Of course. I just dropped this for now. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll make a new island, and then I'll have a secondary island that I can just do some cool designs with. But I have no reason to buy the, uh, the OLED model they announced. I don't even think we talked about that. It looks fine. I don't play my Switch portable, though. I never play my Switch portable. So, like... The use for me is... Literally none. <laughs> it is not useful in the slightest. I'm trying to make this design like a pirate design. I think that's what we're going with. Sideways barrel. I need the regular one. There you go. Look at that. A little weird with the space stuff over here, but that's fine. Who cares? It's fine. <laughs> Um, I need somewhere to put this treasure chest. Also, I'm realizing I cannot have this bed here. That is not going to work. There's going to be no way to get here if I design stuff weirdly. Actually, goddamn, the pockets being full is killing me. Let's release this red snapper. We don't need him. Release you, my friend. There he goes. Okay, I want to put the treasure chest here that we have, the cool... I, I, I want to use this, and I've wanted to use it for a while, and I've had no use for it. Be red. Eh. Kinda weird, though. That inconsistent design now. Really? Come on. <laughs> My god. Alright, um... We got that chest there, which looks cool, for sure. Um, I don't know. Not really sure what to do here. I'm gonna leave that for now. I honestly don't know what to do there. I wanted to check. Does our uh, fishing tourney that's going on, does that actually block out people from being on the island? outside of CJ. I didn't see red. I wanted to check if red was here. Damn. 
Yeah, I got a few other weird areas on my island that need redesigning too that I haven't even gone over. Like, this is weird. I added it to like have mushrooms somewhere on my island. It just seemed like a weird area. Originally I had it as just flowers, but that seemed boring. So I added that. Um, we went through this top area already. There's not too much there, just like a little Mario level area and some farming areas for trees and stuff. I have a bunch of black roses here for Roscoe, but I don't really have anything to put there. But I, I, I kind of think all these black roses look a little weird. Like, I mean, it matches his house, but it's kind of almost too much at this point. Oh, so there's going to be a lot of weeds here. I don't know why I haven't checked here yet. Oof. God, I hadn't played in like a while. Like, obviously I haven't played in a while again, but there was like a gap before this gap that I've had where I haven't played this game. It was like a month. And this whole area was filled with weeds. <laughs> it looked very different visually, just <laughs> I'd never seen it filled with that many weeds before. Kind of looked cool, but because weeds kind of take down your island level, or are able to take down your island le uh, level, I don't really want to do that. Any weeds in here? Usually there are. Are there none in here? That's a shock. I think we're good on the weeds. I'm not fully sure what to do on this beach path down here. I, I thought I was liking it, and I kind of am, but I kind of am not. Like, I like this path around, but I don't like it on this side. I like it here, and then when it gets to here, I don't like it. I don't know why. Um, a little thick. Like, it starts as two, but then I extend it to three. I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna try, uh, like, kind of getting this path a little less thick. Well, because it's a little, it's a little, a little thick. A little thick. Um, do that. There's going to be a few areas that are going to need, like, the, the three wide paths, but I think for the most part, not everywhere is going to need it. Yeah, this looks better when it's two here. There we go. That looks a lot nicer, actually. Brings it up a little bit. Okay, obviously there's a few things we can add here to kind of fix this path up a little bit. But that feels nicer. It feels a lot nicer. You got a few of those like tiny detail rocks and stuff and boom. Progress. Okay, let's add a few of these extra little bits of rock here. I think it was just too excessive with the rocks. It felt a little weird. There we go. I think we do need a rock here, still, just to have a little bit of variety. There we go. Do something like that. This little rock here, which feels a little strange. Yeah, that's alright, that's alright. Go like that. Go up this way. I think we need a... Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Come on. There's so many, like, after having played this game for so long, and again, I, I have the main channel video talking about stuff, but, like, one thing I didn't touch on was the amount of stuff... I mean, I kind of talked about it, but I didn't talk about it too much in terms of just, like, the feeling of... of so like, I talked about like quality of life improvements and stuff like that a little bit in that video on the main channel about Animal Crossing, but I didn't really talk about the specific like 
feeling of playing this game after a while and really like feeling like the the drag that you get after a while it just feels more and more tedious the more you play just like certain things like putting paths and having to go like back in and do this is so like annoying like i wish there was like a hot bar or something right where like you could just like kind of like press the triggers and scroll through you know a few designs like four or so designs like even if it was only four like i i understand some people make paths with like nine like this is nine or sorry eight i guess eight different border paths i get that you might not want to have eight different slots being nintendo because that might be a little excessive but i feel like it could be done so like why is it not done is nintendo aha they're the best bro look good Um, actually, I think it would be better to not have this rock, but instead have this rock down like this. Never mind. Where's the, the bottom corner rock? Hold on. What's this one? My bad. I had the wrong one. There you go. Have these little corner pieces that kind of give it some variety. Which look very nice if used correctly. Gonna get some of these in here to kind of spruce some stuff up again. Once we do that, uh... Yeah, that kind of like smooths out the path almost. It just kind of makes it look a little bit nicer. It's still not perfect by any means, but it looks pretty cool. I think this one's throwing me off. I don't like that one. put a duplicate here. Yeah, that looks better. Kind of has a sense of direction now. There we go. I'll even put that here again. Yeah, that looks good. All right, cool. That looks better. It feels a little thin here just because there is still three up here, which is fine. And there's three here, but you know, it's fine. It feels a bit better now. Not, it doesn't feel like it takes up more room than it needs to. With that said, I don't know what the design of the stuff on the beach is still. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, well, I'll leave that as is, because I'm not quite sure yet. I might need to buy some stuff. Um, I don't do time traveling and stuff. I know some people do that. Um, I don't do that. I shouldn't say that. I did it one time for a bridge just because I was fed up. For waiting so long for one bridge to be moved slightly. I think that's like the only time I've done it. I can't fully remember. There might have been another time. Unfortunately, all of our villagers are kind of boring today because they're all fishing. There's not much there. There's not too much for me on a on mystery island either. Outside of that, that's the thing with this game. Like it, it's it's fun in some ways, but there's only so much you can do. And I can't really go villager hunting because I don't have any villagers to go hunting. I also don't have many that I want to go hunting for. I'm pretty happy with the villagers I have right now. That's a lot of stuff. Um, okay. Cool, cool stuff. 
Well, with that, uh, I might just leave it here for Animal Crossing for today, but there might be something else that we can do for a little bit. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to just end it in, like, literally just two hours. <laughs> so, I don't think we'll do that right now. But you'll have to give me one second while I uh, figure out what we're going to do. Second, There's an update for Stardew Valley, apparently. Oh no, my internet. He's a broke and you can't do it, dude. A lot of cool stuff here on the Switch, but... Uh, Actually, most of it we've done, I think, at this point. There's not too much. Give me a second. I'm just going to go back here real quick. Uh, while I put my switch in sleep mode. Uh, see here, there was one other thing I want to do, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it working. So let me take a look real quick. While we're here, uh... Go back here real quick. I got a lot of stupid music on the side of my uh, thing right now for some videos. Chrome's glitchy, but I want to be logged into Twitter. Let's take a look at Twitter. Dude, look at this ridiculousness. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hello, I own three NFTs. I was told to tweet this as a joke. This is crazy, dude. This is my most like tweet that I've ever done. And like it took like half a second. I didn't even try. Oh my god, there's so many people like trying to shield their NFTs to me. Let's take a quick quick detour. Quick detour, dude. <laughs> like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do a really quick thing here. Really, really quick. Let me edit this real quick. I'm just updating stuff on uh, stream. You update the title there. Cool, cool, cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Okay, so. What is weird? Why does it change its thing like that? Um, okay, so like, by the way, for people that are like, just come specifically for the stream, if you've seen my Twitter and my pictures that I was given that uh, NFT, that uh, even Shill, the Shiller, uh, gave me very generously. It is now worth a crap ton already, and it's going up and up constantly. It's crazy. Um, but like this tweet, people are like filling their stuff to me. So being somebody who knows nothing about NFTs, really, like I mean, I know a little bit. I edit for uh, Steve and his stuff, and he's all about NFTs and stuff nowadays. When it first started, it was mostly just specifically uh, NBA Top Shot. But it's more NFTs in general at this point. So, like, obviously I know general stuff, right? But, like, when it comes to me specifically knowing much about it, it's like I really only know, like, some technical stuff. Um, just for like knowing that kind of stuff for putting it into a video and kind of understanding like context and what things to include for editing purposes um, But I don't really know a lot about like actual stuff like I don't know what what is this? I don't know what what is this? Azos? What is that? I don't know. What is this? Does this have sound? No It's an eye like a stone eye with some smoke. That's uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, what else does people have? What is this? Sloth. What is this? What What am I looking at? I have Steve asking me multiple times too. Apparently my opinion's good on stuff because I, I have it unfiltered and like I have no bias for NFTs because I don't know anything. 
So I just look at something and go like, what, what am I looking at? Like, what is this? This looks like what Steve would paint on stream. If you've been on his stream, he'll do like a, a Microsoft uh, paint little thing based on your name. Um, if you have 50,000 channel points. And I got one. Very beautiful. You want me to show it? Here. It's beautiful. It's 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 a masterpiece. It's a masterwork. It's 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 really a deal. Getting it for fifty thousand channel points, like, dude. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> wow, it's it's glorious. It's glorious. It's great. Thanks, Steve, for that. It looks beautiful. Anyway, um, that looks like that kind of thing. What are these? Oh, they all have their arm up like that? Oh my god, that face is terrifying, dude. Alright, that's a thing. Hello, I'm broke. I mean, hey, dude. Dude, I relate. <laughs> I'm also that way. I just happen to own them from very generous people. Um, whatever. Uh, what about a physical piece of NFT? Isn't that just an, uh, not an NFT at that point? I thought the whole point of an NFT was to be digital, but anyway. I don't know. Um, okay. Nice. What else is... Oh, okay. Alright, cool. What is this? What is this? This is spooky. Cool, yeah. Um, <laughs> they're so weird to me. Just general NFTs, like... I don't understand them. I, the only ones I get slightly are, like, profile picture ones and things like that. Anything like... Anything that's not that, like, like, what is this? They're gifts. They don't move on Twitter. Cool, yeah. Doggo, that one's the best one. Hobo Beard Club. Okay, so I want to be a hobo with a beard then. I don't know, dude. I don't know. People are liking these for days, dude. What are these? Sure, yeah. Anyway, that's a thing. <laughs> Just a general thing on uh, NFT stuff. I'm not an NFT person. That was just a general thing to talk about really quick. Yeah, I I'm getting a lot of that today, though. I'm getting a lot of that just crazy also eventually we'll be doing some more black mesa again i just need to get it more stable here's the other thing too i've been thinking swapping to standard obs because oh my god streamlabs breaks literally everything all the time dude all the time it's a constant it literally just does that all the time and it's really annoying very annoying <laughs> It's just like, please stop breaking everything, you know? Please stop. Um, man. I'll be honest, I literally do not know. My whole stream plan was completely, like, kibosh today, and so I'm like, I don't even know what to do. So maybe I will just say screw it and end it. I do have a few things I do want to do today. Um, so maybe we'll just leave it as is. Because I have to figure out. Well, here's another thing. Here's another thing. There have been games, let's just go back to the uh, the primary monitor here. I have a good chunk of games. I don't have a huge amount of games, but there have been games I wanted to play on stream, right? And like, so just let me know what you want to see out of what I have. There's been a few that I've wanted to do on stream. Um, you know, like I've wanted to do, like we've been doing Black Mesa, it's been a bit of a, 
journey just on the technical side because it just seems to be very all over the place sometimes. Um, I wanted to do dark. We couldn't do dark. It didn't really work. We tried it. didn't really function. Um, obviously, Death Stranding I enjoy and I'd love to do, uh, but I want to wait for the deck, like director's cuts, so that's why we're doing that. Destroy All Humans is one I was planning to do a while ago, uh, but I was having technical issues at the time that were separate from that, so maybe this would work better now. So maybe we'll do that. Um, maybe not this stream, because um, I want to test it first to make sure it works, but maybe we'll do uh, Destroy All Humans on stream eventually. Because uh, I have been meaning to get back to that one, but I just don't, I don't know if it works. So I don't really want to launch to a PC game without knowing if it works first. Because um, we've had too many of those issues before um, where it just screws up. Um, we could do Inside, but I've played that before. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the other thing. There's a lot of games. I've been playing Lego Harry Potter on my own. I've talked about it in the past. I've just been playing that on my own, having a general good time. Um, not really playing stuff on stream specifically. Um, and I mean, the main reason for that, I haven't played this yet. I'm still on 1 to 4. I'm almost done the main story. I've kind of been doing like extra stuff and stuff, kind of been going back and forth. Um, I've been enjoying this, but it crashes a lot. So, like, we can't really do that on stream anyway, even if I was to. I was told it crashed a lot. It does. <laughs> so, you know, I wouldn't want to do that on stream anyway. Um, but yeah, so, you know, there's stuff. But I really wanted to do that on stream. I was really, really excited for that. And it doesn't work. Maybe I can get it to work in the future. I don't know, but it doesn't really work. Maybe we can do Battle for Bikini Bottom. I played that on my own and beat it, but, like, it's always fun to play. Yeah, anyway, there's stuff. There's also Trover, but I'd want to play that in VR, and uh, I can't really do VR streams. I mean, I kind of can. We tried it, but it, it's, a little, it's a little wacky. So there's stuff. There's stuff we can do. I don't have a huge amount of PC games, though. I only have a few. Really, compared to other people that have like thousands, I, I only have like so many. But yeah, anyway, that's that, dude. Um, I'm going to leave the stream here for now today. It's a little bit shorter. Um, we're going to be doing Prime games tomorrow, so we have some stuff to do tomorrow. Um, Tuesday, we'll figure out what kind of series stream game we want to do. Um, maybe you'll just get something completely different. I would love to do Horizon Zero Dawn, but I've been told that the PC port is crash and runs really bad normally which is unfortunate and i'll look again so the death stranding port is fantastic it works really well let's look in the reviews of this a little bit of money though that's the only problem but i don't really own it like i have a ps4 and it says i have it but it's just a stream on ps now so it's like i don't really actually have it I got it when it was on sale, though, <laughs> with the summer sale. Um, but I, I was told that it was a bad port, but maybe it's okay now. Oh, they refunded the product. Immediately after the intro cutscene, I was... No, oh, they have... Yeah, 505 has really, like, shady terms, but... At this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um... People just kind of complaining about the data collection. That's fine. Um, okay, maybe we'll do that too. Because I'd love to play this game. I've never played it. I've, I've heard really good things. Um, I just don't know how well it would run. But we'll see. I, I didn't have problems with uh, Death Stranding, which is the same engine. So, I mean, maybe it's all right. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. if it, Does it have DLSS? I don't think there's any way to know that. <laughs> Um, I'll have to look up that later, but maybe that's a game to play, too. We have some stuff to do. Like always, our Thursday streams and stuff like that. If I don't get anything by Tuesday that I'm confident in that we should be playing, um, maybe we'll just end up doing an art stream early and do it on Tuesday as well. I do have a little bit that we want to do there, too. Um, if you do watch Steve, um, once again, um, we're redoing some emotes. Um, or just like doing new versions or doing completely new emotes and stuff. And I'll be doing that on stream eventually. So might get started with that early too. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so, you know, if you're interested in stuff like that, um, we're going to be doing that probably at some point. 
definitely by Thursday, but maybe we'll do it earlier. I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, bit of a chill. Probably kind of shit stream today, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But um, we will be doing, again, Prime Games tomorrow. We'll be playing a bunch of different games. You want to actually, since we're here, let's do, and I just opened Chrome, which is a terrible thing to do. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put in uh, the random number generator. Okay, here you go. Now, I forget exactly. It's a little different right now. Um, two, three, four. Okay, hold on. I had to look through the Twitch Prime stuff. This is my own channel. No, 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 no. We don't have to look at me, but... Uh, let's see how much they added a bunch of like games and stuff in the last month. So my number is actually different. So I gotta figure out what number it is. Portal Dog. So one, two, three, four. Uh, that's not new. Maybe it is. I don't think it is. I don't think that's new. Uh, so that's five, six. So basically six. I don't think this is different. Do they make two Batman Telltale games? These are different games, dude. Oh. Batman the Enemy Within. That's a different game. I didn't even know they made two. Huh. Okay. So never mind. So I have to recount that. How many did we count? There's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven. So, uh, that would be two, ninety-one. That's two hundred ninety-one. We are at two eighty-four. So that's two ninety-one, right? Okay. So we can say that for two ninety-one. Out of that, this is how I do it every time, right? This is how I do it every time. I go to a random number generator, literally put it in. What do we got? We got 183. I'm bad at math and figuring out. It literally is not labeled. We'll open the Amazon Games app. We'll show you. This is the Amazon Games app. We'll open it real quick. And you can see all the games in here. There's a lot. Literally go to all, well, you go to all games. And then I sort it by letter. Just for some reason, it's not loading the games. There we go. Okay, and then we sort by name. And then we have this. So where's 183? So they're sorted by four, right? So what you would want to do, right? So we have 183. Let's do a new tab. What is two times? Let's just put in a random number. 45. Where's that? Or sorry, not two. Four times 45. Where's that? Why is it not doing math? 180. Wow, that was pretty good. So we basically have to count 45. There's one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. Oh, that's thirty three. This is thirty four. Forty. That's forty-five. So then one, two, three, right? Forty-five would be one eighty, one eighty-one, one eighty-two, one eighty-three. So what is this game? Samurai Showdown. Two thousand four. It's an older game. It's an SNK game. I've never heard of it, but it's an SNK game. So there you go. That's what we'll do. Samurai Showdown. And then what I do. Since I figure I should show you this, I have this like text file, it's just full of tons of stuff. But I literally just go and I literally write. I, I put the list for this day. So I put like, okay, this day, number one, put Samurai Showdown without an S or without a W in Showdown apparently. And then this is special, let's, let's put that. And then we'll put the number. 
184. Put above it, I'll put like number update. Number update 291. And I do this and I mark the number, it doesn't really matter. I put 184, it's 183. Um, the numbers don't really matter, just the name of the games matter. <laughs> So that I don't play the same thing again. This is more for the future. Like right now, it's pretty hard not to, you know, it's pretty hard to play the same thing again because it, we haven't done too many of these. Um, but yeah. So anyway. Um, so there you go. Let's do it again. Another random number. Two forty-five. Okay. So forty-five was Samurai Showdown. Now, when you go back, you have to scroll all the way back down because this app is absolute garbage. Okay, where was Samurai Showdown? Okay, so this was 45, which was 80. So if we do 65, where's that going to take us? That's too far. Let's do 60. See where that takes us. 240. So we want 61. So this is 45. So 45. Fifty. That's sixty-one. And then that System Shock Two. Never played System Shock Two. I've heard of it, um, but that's what's there. System Shock Two is two forty. Oh, it's two forty-five. No, that is because that's two forty-four. That's two forty-five. So System Shock Two. There you go. And so you guys will know literally as I'm learning what we're gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> There's that. Number three. What do you think number three is going to be? I don't know. I don't know what we have. 208. What do we have? We're at 61 now. On the level with System Shock. or starting with Sword Legacy Omen. Okay. So that's 61. I had to guess. Probably put in 55. Where's that going to put us? 220. Okay, let's do 50. That's 200, so it would be 52, because that's 208, so it's right on the 4th, yeah. The 208, so 52. 61, that's 60. Uh, 59, 58, 56. Uh, 55. Wait, did I count right? That's 61, that's 60. 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52. Shadow Tactics. Blades of the Shogun. What is this? This is a real-time strategy, dude. Oh, great. I'm going to love that. But it doesn't matter, because that's what came up in the list. So, okay. Shadow Tactics. Never heard of it. But that's what's on there. There you go. And we'll do a backup if, none of those, if one of those games doesn't work. We do a backup, which I list as the backup. And I put number four, and we're going to do one more. All right, 234. These are all pretty high numbers, <laughs> but that's fine. So at 61, fifty two was two oh eight, right? Fifty two, so that's two oh eight. Um, it's two thirty four, so we could do. 55, right? How much is that? 58. 232. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. So that's 52. 3. 54. 55. 56. 7. 58. 1, 2. Steel Rats. What is Steel Rats? It's a racing game. That's what it says, anyway. Looks weird. It, is, oh my god, it's another thing. It's another uh, Desert Child. Please stop making these games. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We don't actually know if that's what it is. Doesn't matter. Don't even know if we're going to end up playing that. But hey, there's that. So that is how I do the process of that. And now I'm going to install all these later. I'm going to check if they work, you know, just as minimally as I can. And then we'll play them. That is how I do it. And that's the list for tomorrow. So Prime Games... We're going to play some Samurai Showdown special.
Um, an SNK game, System Shock 2, which I've never played in my life. Shadow Tactics, which I know nothing about. And Steel Rats, which I definitely know nothing about. We might play if one of those games don't work really well or are just a bit short because they don't last that long. I don't think Samurai Shutdown Special is going to last too long. It just seems like it's a pretty simple, uh, simple fighting game. But hey, you know, but there you go. So that is what I do for uh, Prime Games, for figuring out the game. So I just want to show that. Just so you guys know, because I know sometimes I say it's randomly picked games, but we never do it right on stream um, because I have to make sure that things are going to work beforehand. But that is how I do that. So if you're wondering. Um, anyway, that's that. Um, I am now going to leave the stream as is. Um, hope you guys just had a good chill time, just kind of hanging out, having a vibe, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so Prime Games tomorrow, um, normal time. 12 p.m. Eastern, um, and then Tuesday we'll probably be doing a series game. Maybe we'll do some Horizon Zero Dawn. Maybe we'll do, I don't know, something. Destroy All Humans, maybe, we might do. We got a few things there. I also wanted to play Grow Home and uh, whatever the other one's called. What's the other one called? There's Grow Home and then there's like Grow something. Grow Up, which I've never played. That's a sequel. Apparently is really good as well. Never played it. Never played that one. I did play Grow Home a very long time ago. It's been a long time. Um, so I think that one would be a fun one to do. Maybe it's just another off-series kind of game. Maybe just something to play. Uh, and something to switch things up. Because that game is fun. And that one works totally fine. I just never really got around to playing it on stream. So, so you know, maybe that would be a fun one to play as well. Anyway, that is all for me today. Uh, again, Tuesday, our series game. Thursdays are our art streams. Um, because I have multiple things we'll be doing of art, I imagine next Saturday will also be another art stream. So there's that. That's the plan for the next uh, couple of streams. I plan to do them as per usual, um, have them be on schedule. Um, you know, I made a schedule and everything, and it's kind of not really been consistent um, since it's been put in place. But it's just because other things have happened that have kind of uh, changed things up a little bit. So hopefully we'll start getting that going and uh, get things moving forward a little bit more regularly. So anyway, that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and my Twitter is also linked below. All my social stuff's linked below. Um, and the Discord is also there. We also have commands. For the bot, if you do exclamation mark socials, uh, you should be able to get Streamlabs bot, and it'll uh, give you links to all the social stuff, an invite to the Discord that is also below, too. If you click on the image, it will do the same thing. Whichever works for your preferences, everything is there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's that. Um, thank you guys so much. And the server's boosted now, so we should be get, getting a more votes soon, which is cool, too. Cool, cool stuff. Um, but yeah, so, uh, anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much again for hanging out. We'll be back on Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern with Prime Games. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.